You know what? One of the things that I wanted to talk about, this came up with my family, is I'm raising these two boys. Uh, are, are children today, do they have a sense of entitlement that's a little bit askew than when we grew up? What we were used to getting and what we felt entitled to. I wanted to uh, jump off on that and see where you feel about it. Lee, what do you think? I think, if anything, I think kids now have access to more at their fingertips than maybe like even when I was much younger. You know, I just think that for like kids now, I to access anything is so easy yeah. that when there isn't that instant gratification, it's almost like there's a disappointment versus, you know, working for it maybe. They're more a product of sort of the technology that's available to sure, us. Sure, but, yes. but as a young couple, I don't know when your plans are to start a family, but one day if you do welcome somebody into this world, <laughs> you have a life of convenience at this point, very successful. How do you prevent them from obtaining the things that can be so easily granted to you, whether it's VIP entrance to a theme park or whatnot, how do you begin to go, mm, we'll stand in line like everybody else? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, skipping lines at Disneyland. Now you see the dilemma, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> she's, she's outed me. No. <laughs> but I think, um, honestly, I think that, you know, a lot of it is how you're raised, I believe, and in kind of the environment you grow up in. So I think we were both kind of raised, you know, in a... Um, in a house where it was kind of more like you know you were gonna work for for what you get, so I think we weren't given cars. And right, I think, I think like it's still in that. Sure, sure. Instilling sure. that in your kids, I think, is but important. But I do think that the parent has to sacrifice. Like my friend Tom Farrell, he has access to total box seats at the game, but he takes his kids and they go and sit in the nosebleed bleed seats, seats in the bleachers because that's how he grew up. What and a he horrible wants them father! <laughs> 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 he wants them to because there's joy in that experience too. But there, you know, uh, I was raised very much. On, like my parents did we were not entitled at all and I wish we were a little more entitled because um, I had to teach myself how to ask for what I wanted because mm. I feel like that's a really good tool to have is if you if people are like I don't have what I want I don't have what I want but many people don't even ask for what they want because they don't know they can yeah. so I think a little entitlement is is good I mean a healthy you know I but mean obviously healthy balance there's a point though where I think that we uh, we have started to over congratulate kids um, you know my parents in the in the 50s and 60s it was about you know smacking a kid on the butt and giving them you know a good hard speech and in the 80s and 90s it was very much you know every kid gets a trophy for participating and let's make sure that all you know that everybody you know gets congratulated and uh, kids aren't as tough as they used to be I think entitlement is I, I mean I think access is a big part of it and I think the other part is that we've rewarded kids for doing nothing for doing nothing yeah. and there are actually bosses in the corporate world that have uh, they can't discipline or, or train uh, employees because they think that they're just always yeah. right and should have their way well it is a struggle that I continue to have day in and day out with my guys and I want to give them the world right. as we all do as parents we want to be the best we can and make their world a little bit easier but in the process are we preparing them for the path or are we preparing the path for them it's a combination